Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It is a word. I'm trying to make this video. I've been trying for a while. And may I bless it and bless the spirit of my tongue that I may speak in an edifying manner and a manner that opens up the truth to the eyes of his beloved. When I read in chapter 10, book of Joshua, Joshua was fighting the five kings and he asked the Lord to help him. And the Lord made great hailstones fall upon those five kings. Yahshua asked that the sun stand still and it stood still for nearly a day. And as we see now these nations, our enemies falling, we ask that the light of the truth be upon them and stand still. Let it not go into darkness. Let the day not end until all their evil is exposed, until all their hiding places are found out. Let the hail of the Lord's truth rain down upon them, crushing and exposing everything and any plant that they try to sow in wickedness. May the Lord salt the land that nothing grows of it until they fall. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood, we are wrestling against principalities. We're wrestling against forces that take territories and they rule over it with evil, with sickness, with death, with murder, with robbery, with poverty. But we too can go into our spiritual warfare and go into those heavenly places because we have been blessed by Yeshua HaMashiach, blessed be the God and Father of Yeshua HaMashiach, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And yeah, that's our spiritual warfare, beloved. We are blessed when we go in. The Lord hears us before we even speak and he answers us. But we have to send up our prayers to do this spiritual warfare, because the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, they're not like the world. And we have angels that will go against the demonic forces and conquer them. The more we pray, the more we supplicate, the more we speak, we are watching our enemies fast decline, beloved. Let this word be an edification to you. And as we speak, we're casting down imagination. Yes, yes, yes. Those principalities, those rulers of darkness, every high thing. You see them rulers, they are in high places. Okay, those spiritual wickedness, high places is heavenly places. But you see, he gave us authority with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, high places, beloved. And as we go, and as our father blesses us, we also know that the angels, just like they are dark forces in the heavenly places, they are also the angels on the ready to hear us when we speak. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Heirs, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. And as I give this word, because again, I tried to do this and it just kept shutting down. Remember, the word of Yah is quick, it's powerful, it's powerful. When we speak it during this spiritual warfare, we are seeing the effects of it. Those principalities, those those powers that have come through and taken control of territories, raining down murder and poverty and sickness and madness. Now they're losing their grip because the truth is coming in. The word of Yah, it's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. It's not what we've been taught. It's what we know in the spirit. 
And then it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That spirit of discernment that is upon us because that word of Yah is renewing our minds. Yes, beloved, yes. I ask that the light of Yah stand still as Yahshua asked the sun to stand still. May it expose the corruption that is buried Yasharel and many innocents in prison houses. May it expose it. May the rocks and the torrent of his hail come down, crushing their gates and building gates of truth and power, opening up the spirit of the Lord and growing Yasharel while diminishing our enemies. Yes, beloved, this Shabbat we will glorify our Yahuwah, our Adonai, our Elohim. His word is quick and it's powerful. It is a lamp unto our feet when we do not know what to do or which way to go. His word is a light unto our path and a lamp unto our feet. It tells us what to do and it gives us discernment. We are like watchers on the wall. We can see the enemy's demise. Continue in your spiritual warfare and be encouraged because as you look, thy salvation, thy redemption draweth nigh. It is a word, beloved. Shabbat shalom. All praise, glory, and thanksgiving unto the exalted eternal name of Yahuwah Adonai. We thank you, Father. We confess our sins and the sins of our ancestors. And please circumcise the foreskins of our hearts and our children's hearts, that we may be sensitive to thy spirit, thy word, thy truth, and follow it as a child follows its mother, knowing none other than you, our shepherd and our true redeemer. Thank you now and forevermore. Glory, hallelujah, in thy name. Amen. Shabbat shalom, beloved. It's a word.